want you to find some words that feel better to you than the terror or fear or despair that you've got going around money say some words pick something that you can reach and don't try to jump too far on the emotional scale or you'll end up in the ditch in other words choose something that just feels better than where you are and go for it well overall I'm doing very well too big of a jump yeah. <clears throat> and sort of off the subject and you know how you would know that because the words just sound like words you don't get any movement now do you think that we've gotten to you soon enough or do you think you're already in a better feeling place in other words can you find that feeling of discomfort poke at it with a stick until you find it a little bit because unless you find that feeling of discomfort you won't know if you've received movement on it so poke around with it what are the bill collectors telling you oh I don't listen to them at all I haven't opened a letter in a little while so it's not bothering you it's hanging out there someplace so it's not to... the it's not the bill collector that's bothering you it's the fear of what you use the word terror fear of what mm. permanent despair fear of not really being able to get this fear of not being the in control of my own experience fear of not being the manifester of what I want yes like I'm not understanding something it's not getting through fear of not getting it so now make yourself feel better on that subject I should have been taught better wouldn't it have been nice to have been born into circumstances where it, it was just the way people thought wouldn't it be nice to have had a, a clearer signal earlier on wouldn't it have been nice if I hadn't been traumatized early on and had been so disconnected from my guidance system so early on that I just sort of had to stuff all of those feelings wouldn't it have been nice if I could have been more of a normal person and kept my emotions out there in a place that they could have been more useful helpful at that all? would have certainly been nice would have wouldn't it but uh, no point in trying to go back and rework something but the question is did that casting of blame give you any relief not really no, so, I've done so a lot go of after blame. that doesn't doesn't what I want to do is like recognize further my ability to to shape my thoughts well see here's, what, here's what we want me. you to realize if if you say you're in terror and we lead you cleverly as we did into the life-giving fresh breath of air of blame and it doesn't give you any movement then maybe you weren't in terror in other words if the blame didn't feel better to you maybe you were up here and we were trying to take you the wrong way on the scale yeah I'm not in terror right now that's only All a right, possibility so, so where do you think you are frustration it's you're like, in frustration it makes sense it's All right, so working are you should getting be the working. sense of what we're talking about so he used the word terror and he used the word fear but it wasn't actually where the vibration was so as we try to coax you from your uh, thought of terror into blame it didn't do anything for you it didn't give you any feeling of relief because we were actually taking you in the wrong direction on the emotional scale so now you're saying I'm frustrated over my finances do you think does that does that word resonate more and so talk to us about active. where you are right now never mind where you've been but where where you are right now give us the sense of this frustration well it I've gotten very good at continuing to focus where I want to be imagining how it can be how I want it to be what's possible and my manifestations are showing up a little rough right now all right so I'm ready for myself to be able to put my money where my mouth is in other words I want to begin to demonstrate some of this so as we feel you it feels to us that you have some way to go to frustration it feels that you are in a, in a strong frustration or maybe even an anger in other words and it feels to us that is self-directed in other words you are not certain that you have the ability to do what you want to do you certainly want to do it you want to demonstrate it you got anybody watching you and as is there anybody that you're wanting to demonstrate for or is it just something that you're wanting to prove to yourself I have a community of people watching me so it's a feeling of responsibility maybe in other words you've been talking about this deliberate creation stuff haven't you and so and now you're wanting to be a demonstrator of deliberate creation and so what's that emotion what is that emotion 
Mm, my stomach has butterflies. What's around that me. feeling of responsibility? What is that feeling when the spotlight's on you and you've got to make something happen? What 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 is that emotion? That emotion that revolves around responsibility. Um, well, it, it feels like it could be excitement, but excitement can, you know, fear and excitement is, are a lot of the same thing. But not really. Excitement is on one end of the scale and fear is on the other. In other words, you could be focused upon what you really, really want and it could cause a sensation of fear or a sensation of excitement. But the sensation of fear only comes forth when you are focused upon the exact opposite of what you want, while the feeling of excitement is present when you're focused upon what you want. In other words, excitement is on one end of the emotional scale and fear is on the other. And so try to give us some words that give you relief from this frustration. Now you started to do that earlier. You tried it and we cut you off and said it was too big of a jump. And maybe it wasn't too big of a jump. We were listening to your words about being in fear or, or despair or terror and trying to bring you up the emotional scale when in reality you were up here closer to uh, frustration. And so from frustration, you can move into feeling good feeling vibrations. You just have to do it consistently. So try to make the jump and see if you can. Well, let's go back to that. Overall, I'm, I think I'm doing very well. My life is definitely improving over the years and specifically in the past couple of years, listening to what you say. Uh, yeah, how you doing with money? Mm, I see lots of Jaguars and armored cars all the time and I did not see Jaguars before. I didn't recognize how many there were around. I'm, I actually had an offer to test drive one the other day. And I, I called the dealership and they're sending me a color chart. Keep talking. Uh, those armored, I had one follow me 25 miles from breakfast to my job site the other day. Come on, fella, I live right over this way. Uh, uh, those types of experiences are fun, uh, kind of giggly. I like telling people about them. So I can feel them. myself, I'm on the fringe of dollars flowing into my experience. I'm becoming surrounded by more things that are an appearance of prosperity and how and I'm seeing signs of it in my own experience in what way mm -hmm. uh, an experience I'd like to return to about a year ago someone wrote me a check for sixty thousand dollars with uh, just a suggestion hmm that's possible well 240 grand is possible too well four times that or my, my All right, so now the question, vision of possibility so the question is that we want to put to you is is this self dialogue that we've sort of been prodding you along has it given you any sense of relief in other words do you feel any less resistance than when uh, we first I began can feel the dialogue just in these 10 minutes how it was when I was looking at terror and how it is when I look at what I'm doing now all right so now so now keep going in other words from this place of feeling better and you're the only one that can really discern that you do feel better your guidance system is letting you know that you've released some resistance and if you can let go of the temptation to try to find some way of solving the problem so that you can jump into action and instead accept that the work really is about improving the way you feel then let's go a little further let's see how good we can feel in this period of time so see if you can goose it up a little more well as I settle myself into what I have already learned so far about what's possible, about how I can feel, about how I can direct my thinking. Mm, the, the future gets very bright and very open, lots and, of energy, and kind I'll of bet fireworks. There are many people who at one time were standing financially about where I am, who broke through this and found a stream of abundance. And I can feel the stream of abundance approaching me because things that have never happened to me before are beginning to show up. So I know my vibration around money is improving and there's no end to what that improvement will be. And it's going to be fun for me over the next days to 
watch different evidences showing me that I'm really sniffing out the trail of abundance. And I accept that 99% of every creation is complete before I see any physical evidence. And so it's all right if it doesn't flow right into my hands this red hot minute. I can be patient here a little bit. I've learned to settle in here and I'm, I'm all right in waiting for this. And I'm actually beginning to feel my impatience turning to a little bit of eagerness. It's going to be exciting to watch the way the universe displays to me in a way that is meaningful where I can consciously recognize that my energy is shifting and I can feel that even in this conversation that I'm having with myself that I'm moving systematically into that stream of money that I'm wanting and I'm not asking for it to come all at once although it can I'm asking it to come through my crack of least resistance which I'm working on right now and it's exciting to me to anticipate the adventure and the surprises and the ways in which it will flow and I'm appreciating already my knowledge about my own guidance system and I'm appreciating my understanding of the law of attraction and I'm appreciating the people that are showing in a demonstrating way that abundance can flow into their experiences and I'm looking forward to meeting people who can tell me their stories about how they were in desperate straits not very long ago and then money began to flow and I like hearing from them especially the part where they say I can't believe that it was always there for me or I have the sensation of oh where have you been all along in other words it's an interesting thing to be on one side of the manifestation in one moment and on the other side of the manifestation in the other moment and I'm looking forward to breaking through that but in the meantime I'm happy to be on this side of the manifestation because I'm feeling better and better and better I've improved my life in so many different ways and I'm eager to begin to see the stream of money flow into my experience I know that I'm worthy of it I know that that's not what the question is I know now that I've just been a little bit vibrationally out of whack and I can feel that conversations that I'm having with myself like this are bringing me vibrationally into alignment I'm understanding that my work is this emotional journey It's not about getting out there and beating the pavement it's not about finding the vortex the specific vortex through which the money will flow I don't want only one specific vortex I want many vortexes to open I want to be the focal point where enormous sums of money begin to flow into my experience I have activated my imagination. There's no end to my ideas of what I will do with this stream of money. It's great fun. I love the idea of playing the game where I'm spending the money. I love the sensation of the money being in my pocket. And I love the sensation of expressing it out there into the universe. And I love the economy that I benefit as I hire one more to do one more thing or as I buy one more thing and bring it home. But most of all, I enjoy the sensation of freedom. And it's interesting to note that I am having that sensation of freedom right now even though my dollars have not changed at all in this moment I've broken through the emotional journey I can feel that I've cleaned up my vibration I'm much closer maybe 70% of that 99.99 .99 is in place I'm willing to play this game who wouldn't want to play this game it's exhilarating to play this game it's life-giving to play this game I could play this game all day every day oh wouldn't it be nice if I have that won't it be nice when I have that won't it be nice if I have that I feel such appreciation for the abundance that's flowing into my experience. There's abundance that's coming to me in so many ways. I have the abundance of clarity. I have the abundance of stamina. I have the abundance of health. I have the abundance of friends. I have the abundance of so many things. And now the universe is getting ready to give me the abundance of dollars, the abundance of being able to prove to myself that I am in alignment with all that I want and that it is true that there is nothing that I cannot be or do or have. That's what I want most of all, I say to the universe. I I want personal acknowledgement that there is nothing that I cannot be or do or have and money is part of it money might even be a big part of it I can feel money on its way to me and I'm grateful for it even as it begins to flow and I'm proud of myself for the work that I am doing and I'm eager to improve where I am and I'm happy where I am I'm doing very well I've come so far I'm proud of where I am I know that the universe sees me as I am I can get on these rampages anytime that I want to I'm going to work on these rampages more and more because they just feel so darn good in fact in a rampage like this whether the money comes or not right now this red hot minute is no big issue to me I know it's coming I'm not even wondering if it's coming I'm not hoping that it's coming I'm not even believing that it's coming I know that it's coming it's just a matter of time no it's not even a matter of time it's just a matter of my alignment with what I want and it's all right that I want it time space reality is giving me the ability to discern it I've launched rockets of desire and they're over there pulsing with me and 
source and inner being are in alignment with them saying, come this way, come this way, come this way, come this way, come this way. And I can tell by the thoughts that I'm thinking right now, I have come that way. I'm there. I'm there vibrationally. And now let the money roll in. Yes. Yeah.